pretty productive welcome or welcome back to my channel today what we're going to be doing is a plan with me from March I almost said February March 21st to uh, I think it's the 27th so from the 21st to the 27th of March um, what I'm going to be using today is my Hobonichi Cousin um, my translucent post-it notes. So these are the one, one point two five by one point two five transparent ones from cloth and paper. Um, to write on those, I use this one. This is the Uni Pin P I N. It's an oil-based ink marking pen. I get that a lot because if you try to use a regular gel pen on these, it just smears all over the board. Um, I did leave this out today because I'm kind of not sure which ones I want to use for my Tombow markers. So in this Coffee Monster Co. pouch is my most used Tombow marker. So with the Tombow markers, because there is ink on both ends, you always want to store them flat. So I do have some cubes that I store, like some darker colors or ones I got in multi-packs that maybe aren't my favorite because they're a little dark for what I like to do with them. But all of my light ones are in here. And then they're all noted on my little um, swatch sheet that I do as well. So all of these are in here. And I know that I'm more than likely gonna grab from here. I'm gonna pull this one too. I just can't seem to decide here. So I did leave this out. I normally don't, but it's here today. And then I did pull this washi. This is from um, Sterling Ink. I don't even know which month it was, but um, it's kind of a greeny gray background with some pink and some purple. So I thought it kind of brightened up my spread a little bit. Um, so far I left out my two that I've been using this month, which is 850 and 291, but I'm kind of thinking 192 might be better with this. I don't know, it almost looks more blue. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. <laughs> um, this pen is the, um, let's see, I think it's the Uni pen. Which one is this one? Oh, Jetstream, it's Uni, Unistream Jetstream 0.38. Um, it is a ballpoint pen, not a gel. Just, it does write better in my Hobonichi. And then I pulled this sticker book. This has kind of all of my kind of go-to things for my Hobonichi. So what I'm gonna pull out is the Planner Spot March Kit. That's kind of what I'm working through right now. And then also, let's see here. Let's see if I have the first day of spring in here. I do, okay. Because Monday the 21st, according to my calendar, says it's the first day of spring. So let me pull that out. And then of course the things I always have on my desk, um, my slice tool, my little um, kind of pen case that has all this kind of stuff in it, as well as my sticker book that has more of the stickers from my shop or my most used. So, okay, let's get started. We're gonna start with going back and kind of looking at what happened last week. Um, a much better week for me than I've had so far, so all good. Um, let's see here. So I got a lot done this week. Um, I didn't check everything off as I did it, but um, I did get a lot done. I've got my meals logged. I did meal prep last week. I went to the grocery store and other than a night that I was out of town and my husband picked up food, we did eat at home all week long, which is a first for a long time. Um, I did get two visits in with my mom um, tonight, which is Saturday the 19th. I'm having my daughters and 
one spouse, the other's boyfriend over for dinner tonight. Um, I've already filmed my budget with me. I'm working on my plan with me. St. Patrick's Day, we did go to the Irish Wolfhound. A little disappointing, not for me, because I had not been before, but um, for my brother-in-law, because they didn't have a tent out. What did not happen this week, um, I started to work on Etsy, and I didn't get very far. I got um, caught up doing medical bills and doing some paperwork for my dad. Um, I haven't even started the guest room, so these can migrate over <laughs> because... Um, these did not happen. Now, the I'm going to put this here on Sunday because I don't have any commitments tomorrow. I did clean my house today, so um, that could migrate, but I'm going to migrate Etsy over to here. Okay, so for right now, I'm just going to put it on Wednesday, and then we'll kind of work around that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with putting the washi down. This was the other one I thought about. This one is a recollections one, but I thought it was a little bright. A little bright for me right now. So how are you guys doing? We are having just perfect weather in Arizona right now. Spring training started. Technically last week for games um, and a lot of our schools in this area were on spring break last week so it's been kind of busy wherever you go so hopefully next week it'll be a little bit calmer um, and then when we went up to Prescott to meet with my dad's financial planner there's a restaurant there called the palace if you're familiar with whiskey row in Prescott Arizona and it was like an hour wait. We've never had a wait there. And they said it was spring break as well, so there we go. Okay. So this does tear easily on the roller where some of the other ones you need to use the slice tool. Okay, put that to the side. That's really pretty. Okay, so when I look at which one, maybe that one, maybe this one looks better. I kind of wanted to use this one because. Hmm. I wish you guys could tell me which one to use. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll use these two and then for my boxes instead of the teal color, I'll use pink and tan. Okay, I'll have to pull the tan ones out. Okay. Not a problem. Okay, why does this not want to stay there? Okay, so I always start with highlighting my dates because I don't see them if I don't highlight them. This is really considered a gray, but I think it's going to look more green next to this. Yeah. So I started to take down listings on Etsy and start to research some different platforms because Etsy is raising their prices again in April, April 1st, I believe it is. And it's almost double what the fees are going to be. So I, you know, your choice is either to go to a different platform that doesn't charge as much or to raise your prices. And I have not raised my prices. I've tried to keep them really reasonable, but that's going to have to be, if I decide to keep with my shop on Etsy, I'm going to have to raise prices. So neither way is that a win-win for anybody. But um, they said they're making these improvements and they want they need more money for marketing, but I don't know. It just gets to the point where it's not cost effective to even have a shop, which is really sad, actually. Okay, I'm going to start by highlighting this week. 
And then I'm going to drop down here to 23. And that's just to keep it from getting really thick in one area. So I just kind of alternate between the 21st hour, the 22nd hour, or the 23rd hour. Because I think this is 11 p.m. And I am not going to be doing anything at 11 p.m. And then let's go ahead and put down our headers. I keep trying to finish one of these sheets off without dipping into my other ones, and I'm not doing a good job at that. Okay, so I'm going to do groceries because I, again, do not have any HelloFresh coming this week. I'm going to do to buy... Go to buy to do. I'm going back to work uh, this next week. I'm kind of excited. Um, it's been a month since I worked, so it was a nice break, but I definitely am ready to go back. And then, let's see, did I see errands? From here. And then, okay. So I'm gonna start with my appointments. I don't have too many that I've already pre-scheduled, but. So on Tuesday at noon, I have a training for work. And virtual, which is great, I don't have to go anywhere. On, okay, that's gonna bug me. I won't lay down. On Wednesday, sorry, on Friday at 11, going back to work. on Saturday we are doing my dad's celebration of life we did it kind of later afternoon because a lot of his friends live up north so give them time to come down but not drive back once it's once it gets dark because you know they're all elderly and then Put in my mom's visits. So I went to see her yesterday and she was telling me that she had not eaten for days. She's just not hungry, she said. And then I showed her a picture of her eating an In-N-Out burger with my niece and my niece's kids from the day before. And she's like, that's not me. And I'm like, yes, it is you. And you're eating a hamburger just like you are right now. Because that's pretty much all she'll eat now is hamburgers. And um, she goes, oh, no, I haven't eaten for days. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Okay. So I am going to go on... Tuesday and I'll go back on Saturday morning. No. And I've been getting this question a lot. Does my mom know? No. My mom does not know that my dad has passed. Um, they do not recommend that we tell her. They said it's like hearing it for the first time every time. So 
She doesn't really ask right now about him, but I don't know. It's sad that she doesn't know or get to know. Okay, so social. I have two videos this week. Plan with me. Budget with me. And April setup. I know I just said two, but it's three. I, s I don't know why these don't like to pull off sometimes. Pull out the... Okay, this is really annoying me right now. I think that color or the lighter color. Maybe gray would look better. <clears throat> now if I had thought about it, I would have made some before I sat down to film. I think that color kind of matches. Let's use this one. Real world problems right now. Getting my stuff to match. I keep tearing these little... Oh, there we go. That was better. I did start to get caught up on my memory planning um, yesterday, which I'm really behind. I'm not even behind, I'm just not even. Uh, I haven't really started this year, I have one week done. But I'm gonna get done. So let's do that one here. Okay, so let's go back to our sidebar that we completely ignored. Okay, first day of spring is here. And then, where did I do with, oh, here we go. So I'm not even gonna put a um, habit tracker down because I'm not using them. Um, I'm doing more habit tracking in my weeks instead of this one. Okay, let me see, full box. Okay, I think this one matches really pretty. Okay, so this is the planner spot, the March kit. Honestly, I don't know which one. So spring, I think spring love was the 21 kit and this one is the 22 kit if I remember correctly. Okay. And then I'll use this one, it kind of matches. Over here for meals. I did post on Instagram a picture of what my desk looks like when I'm done. <laughs> kind of like it's looking right now. It just looks like an explosion of craft supplies and stickers, which, you know, means I've been productive, right? Get this one off of there. I really like about the planner spot kits is they can kind of mix and match. I mean the colors are pretty neutral and you can pull them in. This one's a little gray or this one's a little greener but I think it still works together. And then um, let me just okay let's 
start here on Monday. I need to call the state attorney. My dad, I need to not call, email. Email, okay. Text ID. Okay, let's go back down here to my to-do list because as things come up, I need to write them down. Okay, still need to do my dad's taxes. I got mine done, but not his. I did set up a, like, a place for all of his bills and what was coming and just wrote everything down just so I can kind of get organized on that. So I do feel better about that. I need to make taco meat for the celebration. We're doing a taco bar. I need to Groceries and say meat. Maybe toast. Maybe bread. I keep that Texas toast in the freezer and just pull it out when I feel like I need a little something. And we are out. I was so sad the other day. I need to go to Sam's Club. Um, work is just the one day, so 3.25, 11 to 5. Okay, I am taking a class by Ellie Edwards. And I haven't started. <laughs> and there's been... There's been three lessons already and I haven't started yet. So, But it's okay. It's called The Story of Self. So I have printed out the PDFs, um, but I have not done any of the prompts yet. But um, this is the book that I'm going to do. It's called Choose Kindness. I got this at Target last year. And it's really more of a journaling prompts. Uh, you can obviously do stamps and things like that, but I don't think I'm going to do that for this project. I think I'm gonna just keep it low key. And then if I feel like it later, I can go back, but I do need to catch up on that. I still need to look at outdoor furniture. So expensive. It really just, <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so I am not going to even put down that I'm going to work out this week. I just have not been able to. Um, my foot hurts worse than it has in a while, probably because I told my doctor it's done, it's fine, and it's not. Um, let's see here. Oh, it's kind of cute. I would like to plant flowers in my front before it gets too hot. And then we're going to clean out the garage before it gets hot. Okay. So I know I have a lot that I forgot, but as I have done in the past, I just go back once I'm done filming and finish it out because otherwise this gets really long while I sit here and try to remember what I'm supposed to do. Um, let me see what did not get done last week. Um, this got done. I did meal prep. I cleaned my house today because my daughter's dog was here last weekend. And um, the weekend before, so I recleaned it all today. So these are all been done. Um, try that. Okay, so we'll block Wednesday for Etsy. Monday, I could maybe get some things done. 
and definitely could do something on the 24th. So let's just put a second one down. And my daughter's dog is outside the door whining. He does not like, he doesn't want anything to do with me until I close the door and then he has to come up and find out what's happening right now. Okay, let's put that there. Okay. So I think a pretty uh, full week. Um, I'm actually going to start back working more the following week. You know I'm going to glue that down when I get off the camera. Um, but I'll take my to-dos and move them, migrate them into my Hobonichi weeks. And I think that is everything for this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll try to put anything that I used in the video down in the description box. Um, but I think that is everything. So take care and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.